Hey everyone, Henry here with YMN Custom Lures. Today I'm going to show you how to vinyl skirt a lure. So, uh, the materials you'll need is some 30 pound wax floss, a sheet of vinyl, I've already got this cut, uh, some Moldcraft tuff tails, the lure head, we're using a Tantrum XL plunger today, some super glue, and some uh, cutters. So starting off, we're going to uh, put on the tough tails first. So with larger lures, I, uh, so with the tough tails, I do a total of six different pieces of tough tails. So I've got four pieces of black and then two pieces of blue. For larger lures, I like to do three legs on each piece of tough, uh, on a, each strip of tough tails like this. And the tough tails come in like a sheet of about 22 legs or so. So what we're going to do is we're going to do puff, we're going to do black on the top and bottom and then blue down the middle. I like to add a little bit more tough tails than most people just to give it some color on the inside a little bit more. So you're going to take your tough tails and you know, you'll, you'll eventually get the hang of it where you can do, you know, six pieces really easily. A lot of people do four, but, uh, it's not too hard to do it once you learn, once you start practicing how to do it. So, what you're going to do is you've got this tag end right here at the top. So that's where you're going to, you're going to basically bind the wax floss just above this, this notch right here. So I'm going to first start layering them around the head. So I like to, for your know, colored top lures, like this uh, tantrum plunger, which has got a purple top that basically where the color top ends, that's where I will, uh, that's where I'll start the tough tails. So we're going to go one, two, three, and with the tough tails, you don't need to align them up perfectly. You can actually move them around pretty easily once you've even got the wax floss on. So don't, you don't need to worry about putting them into place right now. So just, you're going to get your wax floss, have a nice bit of tag end, and then you're going to put it under your thumb, wrap around your thumb one time, and then you're going to start wrapping. One, two, three. Pull it tight. So now you've got that tight, you don't have to worry about the, uh, the tough tails coming out. So you're going to keep wrapping. I like to do about 10 wraps or so, 10 to 15 wraps, just to make sure that they're snug and secure and they won't come out. Um, and then I'm basically wrapping as close, as tight as possible to the uh, outer saddle. So that way there's no bulging in the wax floss. It's all uh, even level. And after a few more wraps, once that's all done, just cinch it up again and then just cut off the wax floss. And then you're going to take the part you just cut off from the spool and you're going to put it through the loop. And then you're going to cinch it up, pull the tag end that you initially started with. And that way it will cinch up and you don't actually need to tie a knot in it. This is perfectly strong enough and it won't uh, untie at all. So pull both tag ends together until they all, they uh, they cinch up together. And then cut it off, leave a little bit of tag end so it's easier to get off if you need to replace the tough tails at a later point. So now we're going to start to uh, uh, move the tough tails around and put them into place. So. You can slide them around pretty easily. And then, uh, well, like I said in the beginning, we're going to do the black, the top black uh, tough tail pieces. We're going to do them right where the color, uh, color top uh, ends and meets the clear resin. And with the bottom tough tails that are going to be on the belly, I like to do them just on, like basically touching either side of the of the insert on the bottom. So once I get these into position, uh, everything should be even. So that's that's about good right there. So 
you know, all the tough tails are evenly spaced uh, around the lure head. And then you don't have anything on the bottom because I want to try and keep it as evenly weighted as possible either side of the lower head. So that's all ready to go like that. You can just do uh, two, uh, two uh, sections of tough tails on each side of the lure. So you could do one black and one blue on each side instead of the you know, total of six. But this is just what I like for the color presentation. And then you're gonna get a razor blade and then you're gonna cut off the uh, the tag ends of the uh, of the tough tails like so. Try and make sure you don't cut the wax floss because then it will come undone and then you have to deal with a, a whole bunch of mess. So now that's all done. So. Now for p applying the vinyl. The vi this is definitely the hardest part of it, and it does take a it does take some practice to get right. But uh, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to do. So with this vinyl, I've got purple vinyl to match the head, and I've basically uh, already cut this vinyl. I've got three and uh, three eighths of an inch diameter legs, and the key thing is you want to have two inches at the top of solid of solid vinyl. Uh, that way it's going to be uh, the easiest way to measure up and uh, get the vinyl, you know, perfectly uh, measured out to skirt on the lure. So uh, when you go to skirt vinyl, you need to first measure it out around the head. So I'm um, basically just come to the bottom of the lure head. Uh, the, the plunger shape is probably one of the easiest shapes you can skirt with vinyl just because it's a perfectly round head and it, there isn't much difference in size between... Uh, the actual head and then the saddles. Other lures like a uh, like a Tantrum Bandit or a uh, Marlin Magic Captain's Choice, that's a lot harder to skirt since the head is so much larger than the saddles. So you're gonna take the vinyl, measure it around the head, you're gonna go inside out, so you wanna have the outs inside of the vinyl on the outside. And you're gonna go around and, and, and you can see that now you got a little bit of overlap here. So this leg right here that's sticking out that I'm touching right here with my finger, that's actually slightly overlapping. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come, uh, we're gonna go back one leg uh, shorter and we're gonna have a little bit of gap here, but I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do next. So you're gonna take that and cut, and cut that off. And this will be a perfect amount to skirt around the lower head. So when I go to measure it again, yeah, we got a little we got a little bit of space here. But the great thing about vinyl is that it's really stretchy, so you can easily stretch this around the head and make sure and get it all flush and perfect. That way you don't get any bulging or anything or bumps around the lower head when you skirt it. So for the next step with the vinyl. I like to make sure that when the vinyl f is folded back over, the legs at the the legs start right at the bottom of the sa of the saddle. I don't like doing the the legs uh, all the way up on the saddle. I, I like them to start right there, just underneath. So that's what we're aiming for: is to perfectly uh, to perfectly start the vinyl legs you know, right at the bottom of the lower head. So. And different lures have different lengths of saddles, so it's just gonna you're gonna need to find the right place to do it. But for this, just measure it out, fold it, fold it over a bit, and that should be perfect right there. It's just past the wax floss on the on the uh, on the inner saddle. So so you're gonna need to wrap it around tight. And as, as you can see now, the vinyl is now perfectly together. And if you need to, you can always apply a heat gun as well to the vinyl to make sure it's, to get it to stretch even more. And you want to make sure you hold it together tight because you don't want it to come undone when you're about to tie the floss on. But we're going to do the same step, wrap it, get the tag end, wrap it, put it under your thumb and start a, a single wrap over your thumb. 
and then you're gonna wrap really tight to the lower head because the key is you need this vinyl to stay on as tight as possible because over time uh you know after catching many fish the vinyl will start to get pulled off so you need to make sure you do it as tight as possible and that way you'll ensure that the vinyl lasts as long as it possibly can so do about two to three wraps and then just cinch it up tight again just to make sure everything's all good And then once you've done enough wraps, just cut it off again. Take your, take your wax floss, bring it through the loop, and pull the tag end, and then cinch them up together, and that way that will not come undone. And then leave yourself a nice tag end so you can easily take the vinyl off in the future if you need to. And if you get like any kind of overlap like this, where the any part of the seam is overlapping you can easily pull that apart just a little bit and then that way you don't have that overlap and you won't create a bulge so now and now with the uh the next part you don't you don't have to cut it off but if you wanted to you could cut all of this off just below the wax floss but i just like to do about half an inch or so on either side of the seam i'll cut out so And just do it with a razor blade, it's much easier than anything else. So now you have your vinyl like that underneath, and we're going to use this space to basically glue the seams together. So when you fold it back over first initially, you'll see that the vinyl is perf is starting perfectly right where I wanted it to. It, the legs are starting right below the, the saddle, so that's all perfect right there. If you need to, just give it a little pull just to fold it over properly, and that way you won't have any bulging there. And now for the last step, you wanna make sure that you keep uh, your excess material because it'll come in handy when you're wanting to glue the seams together. So what you're gonna do for the seam is you're gonna cut off uh, a piece of vinyl about probably about half an inch wide, about that thick, nothing too crazy. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure up inside, just lift up the vinyl, and we're gonna put this piece actually underneath here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that as the as the boss is to glue the seams together to the lure. So. Measure it out, and then right where the lower head ends, that's where you're gonna trim it off. So we're gonna have about this much. We're gonna use a piece about this big to glue the seams together. So you're gonna take your super glue. Don't need to use a crazy amount, but just get it uh, all over on one side. And then with that piece, you're gonna lift up the vinyl. I like to do it on the left side, but you can do it on either side, doesn't matter. Lift up the vinyl, and then you're gonna stick it under there, and then you're gonna bring one seam down, or one side of the seam down. And you're gonna push it down, make sure it, uh, it all sets off and it, it dries up. I like to use the, uh, the Loctite Super Glue Gel, uh, that way you don't get any uh, super glue running onto the lure head and then you have to deal with wipe, getting it off with acetone. And then with your razor blade, we got this excess glue and we want to clean that off and we'll basically use it on the other side. So and then just Add a little bit more glue if you need to. This bottle's running low. But, uh... And then spread it around and just make sure you cover the area. 
And now, now we're ready to attach the last bit of the seam together. So you want to hold the, I like to hold the side that I've already glued to the small piece of vinyl on the inside. I like to hold that down to the lower head and then the other piece, lift it up and then pull it across. And then just hold it there because you want to make sure that it goes off a bit and you don't, if there's any glue that comes out in between the seams because you put a little bit too much, that's fine. Uh, I just wanted that initial piece just to go off. So I had a little bit of glue come up through the top part of the seam, but now when you push it together, you flatten that seam out. Now everything's all perfect. You got a perfect seam ready to go there. There's no bulging, no overlapping as you can see right there. And that lure is ready to go and you're ready to fish your lure skirt in vinyl. If you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to reach out to me at Wireman Custom Lures on Instagram. And uh, if you have any video, if you have any uh, questions or any uh, how-to videos that you'd like to see, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. and. Uh, Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys, have a good one.